vitamin C was discovered in the 1800s in sailors who were at sea for months at a time and didn't have access to fresh fruits and vegetables and developed a vitamin C deficiency that was called scurvy. And one of the cardinal signs of scurvy is gum disease, bleeding puffy gums leading to bone loss around the teeth and eventually tooth loss. Is scurvy making a comeback? And you may be surprised to know that despite the abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables, scurvy is making a comeback and I will share a few reasons why. Vitamin C is very sensitive to light and heat. So if you buy a vegetable that has vitamin C, but then you cook it, you're gonna lose a lot of the vitamin C nutrients. If you're drinking pasteurized juices, the heat during pasteurization inactivates the vitamin C. So you really wanna drink freshly squeezed juices and just drink, enjoy them right away. Another reason that we're seeing more deficiency vitamin C is that vitamin C is our stress hormone. It is stored in the adrenal glands. So when we are going through a stressful period, whatever the brain interprets as a threat, and that could be physical illness, that could be emotional, the brain makes a phone call to the adrenal glands where vitamin C is stored and we need that vitamin C for our stress response. And most of us don't take enough vitamin C when we're stressed to compensate and become deficient. Vitamin C is very close in structure to glucose. In fact, animals that make their own vitamin C, which is most animals, we don't, we need to get ours from food sources, but they make it from glucose. And glucose and vitamin C use the same receptor sites to get inside the cells. So if you have a lot of glucose in your system, as is the case with diabetes or prediabetes, then you're not gonna absorb the vitamin C. And that is another reason why we're seeing more scurvy. There are certain situations that call for more vitamin C. Flying on an airplane is one of them. The altitude and radiation from air travel depletes our vitamin C levels. And you may wonder why you're prone to getting, catching a cold or getting sick during airplane travel and that's one of the reasons. So you need to take vitamin C on the airplane and even before and after. In fact, in Japan, there are many vitamin C infusion places where you get an IV vitamin C boost before you hop on an airplane. And I think you're gonna see more and more of these in airports throughout the world. I highly recommend this book, Curing the Incurable, Vitamin C, Infectious Diseases and Toxins by Dr. Thomas Levy. Dr. Levy is a board certified cardiologist and he's also a consultant at the Reardon Clinic where the world class protocol for intravenous vitamin C was developed. So certainly gum disease, periodontal disease is an infectious disease that is greatly helped by vitamin C. And I think vitamin C deficiency is one of the overlooked factors when we're trying to figure out why a person is getting periodontal disease. Um, Cause we don't just want to treat periodontal disease, which we can effectively do with LANAP laser therapy but we also want to figure out why the patients are getting it so that we can put them on a good prevention program after treatment. Certainly vitamin C is an important part of my Keep Your Teeth program, both in terms of um, gum disease prevention and management after LANAP laser periodontal therapy. 
vitamin C helps to clear the toxins after uh, land out because these bacteria that cause gum disease are some of the most noxious bacteria and release endotoxin, which is one of the most harmful substances known to mankind. And vitamin C can help your system detoxify after a procedure to eliminate the bacteria. And vitamin C is critical for building collagen. So we want strong gums, we want strong bones when we're treating gum disease. And even if I'm doing a gum graft procedure to build uh, gum tissue around receding gum lines, I want lots of vitamin C on board. So vitamin C is critical for oral health. What kind of vitamin C? The ascorbic acid ingredient that you see in juices is actually a preservative. It's not really vitamin C. Um, it's made from corn that has been sprayed with pesticides often, and they take the sugar from the corn and mix it with sulfuric acid, and that's how they make ascorbic acid. That's not the vitamin C that is the whole complex that your body needs and recognizes. Uh, the whole C complex also has copper that is necessary for the immune system and flavonoids. So you want to look for a supplement that is whole food based. You might see ingredients like acerola cherries or rose hips or oranges. And certainly the best way to get your vitamin C is by eating fresh fruits. Um, but sometimes you need a little bit more if you are, if you're dealing with a chronic illness, infection, chronic stressful situation, air travel, you probably need more than uh, what you can get from a serving of fruit. So I highly recommend supplements that are natural whole food based with the whole C complex. I hope this helps. I look forward to helping you keep your teeth for a lifetime the way that Mother Nature intended. And certainly vitamin C is an important part of my Keep Your Teeth program. Thank you for watching.